I wanted to make a short update video on some silicon we sent off end of November 2021 that was for MPW3 and we received the silicon about three months ago in June. So one of the things we got was these new boards and some chips were provided on M2 cards. I put two of my own designs on this submission and in this short video I'm going to show you the results that I got. This project is called Frequency Counter and it's a demo project I made for my Zero to ASIC course. The idea is just to count an incoming frequency and then display it on two digits and it was designed as a project to help people learn Verilog. All parts of the design were tested with a Coco TB testing framework and then after I put it into Caravel I also tested it worked inside and I could get the outputs out from the outside of the chip and I also tested it on an FPGA. It's a very small design, it fits in about 100 by 100 microns, although I did have to make it bigger so that it picked up power from the power distribution network. I also put this design on MPW2 and I never got it to work there and I don't know why. It always just showed one zero and nothing else. So it was actually showing something on the display, but it was like the frequency counter didn't work. On MPW3, the same design did work and I was able to get the IOs working well enough to show the frequency. One problem I had was that with the IOs, it's often difficult to find a configuration that will drive the IO down fast. So you end up with a sharp rise and then a slow fall. And that means that when you're switching between the tens and the ones digit, it never actually switches. It always, because that selection is just high for too long. So what I had to do was slow down the input frequency so that it had enough time to switch between the two digits. It's still fast enough so that you get persistence of vision. You don't see it one and then the other, but that means it can't count up to 10 megahertz anymore. It can only count up to one megahertz. So you can see here me testing it. I've got it connected to my frequency generator. And as I dial up the frequency, you can see the number on the uh, seven segment displays matches the number on the frequency generator. This project was for a clock because I like clocks. And what I wanted to do was to show the time on a, um, an LCD screen using VGA signals. Before the tape out, I did some tests. So I checked that the buttons worked for adjusting the time. And I also was able to run the simulation in Verilator and get near real time display of the screen. So that gave me some confidence that it was gonna work. I also tried it on an FPGA. And that's actually what the original design was for. I ran it first on an FPGA. The design was one of 16 that I taped out on MPW3 and it was 200 by 200 microns. Bring up for the early uh, silicon has been challenging. There's some scripts that help to do that. You have to run a little test and then it will check which IO pins can work and which can't. And I got lucky on a chip for the clock and I was able to get, I think all of the pins working except one, which means the colors aren't quite what they should be. So here's the clock working. I'm just adjusting the time here. And as I pressing the buttons, the, the colors change on the digits. And when I, stop the buttons uh, it does show the time it's running a bit slower because i'm not running at the correct frequency and unfortunately the, the video here doesn't really show the colors that great so stay tuned for some more silicon bring ups in the near future i'm also excited to say i've got some great results out of the chip ignite chips where caravels all been fixed so it'll be really good to show you some of those results soon